My book, uh, Columbus and the Quest for Jerusalem, is about the reasons behind his plan uh, to sail west to go to the Orient. And of course he was going to get gold, everybody knows about that. He was going to meet the Grand Khan of Cathay to set up a trading post to trade for gold and spices that was going to finance a crusade to take over Jerusalem from the Muslims. And in fact, it wasn't just to mount the crusade to take Jerusalem. That was part of a whole apocalyptic scenario. And that was only the first step, because in order for Christ to come again before the end of the world, Jerusalem had to be in Christian hands. The temple had to be rebuilt, because that's where Christ would sit in judgment. And um, all peoples had to be proselytized and hopefully converted so they wouldn't burn eternally in hell. That was the whole plan, and Columbus saw himself as um, being a crucial figure in making this come about. And he even, before the first voyage, had figured out how many years were left before the end of the world. I never ever thought I would write a book about Columbus. I'm an anthropologist, I'm not a medievalist, I'm not a historian. I was teaching a course called Millennial Fever at Stanford uh, in the fall of 19, 1999. So we were looking at apocalyptic millennial beliefs that were you know, a frenzy in the U.S. at that time. And I came across a reference to Columbus's apocalyptic millennial beliefs, and I'd never heard about them. I decided this really needed some research, and I was hooked, and the rest is history. <laughs> well, people really thought the apocalypse was coming because of all the events that had been happening in the past hundred years or so. They had just come through the plague. There was a schism in the church. And then the, probably the thing that um, really set everybody on edge was the fall of Constantinople. And what happened then is that the overland route to the east, which Marco Polo had been on and other people had been on, and also the pilgrimage route to Jerusalem was closed to Christians. Originally, I wanted to have a subtitle for my book, Columbus and the Quest for Jerusalem, a parable, because I think many of the beliefs that Columbus had about the apocalypse um, have resurfaced. And my feeling is that the, this apocalyptic myth um, is something we have to diffuse because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, I would like people to um, begin to shift their attention from Columbus the, the man and look at the religious ideas that motivated him because those are the very ideas that have resurfaced right now. And that's why I want it to be read both not just its history but as a parable for our times.